Hi there and welcome back to It's Only Paper. I'm Lisa and today we're going to be making another DIY little golden book journal. This one's going to be different though. I made this one here at the start of the year. It's coming along very, very nicely. This started life out like this. Look at the difference between the two. Isn't that amazing? And I am slowly filling it with loads and loads of stories. We've been fortunate enough this year to have three Disney trips booked. So I have three signatures there, as you can see. I've got my January, my June, and one ready for October coming up. The difference is with this one, this one is my journal and I'm creating in it as we go. But this time I'm making one as a gift so it's going to be very different. I want to make it ready with all the pockets, the pulley out bits, the tags, rather than previously I just made it with a signature and pages so you'll see this empty one is just pages. This time I want to add all the cute bits to it. Um, my sister, it's a gift for my sister who's coming on a trip with us and she is not crafty in any way or form. She is an ice hockey player. She <laughs> doesn't have an ounce of craftiness in her. So I want to make it for her because she loves all my mini books, my journals, my scrapbooks. I want to make it for her so all she needs to do is add the photos and the journaling and keep it really, really easy for her. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm really excited to share this with you. I picked this up off Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. I've got it in my Amazon storefront. And I'll show you what else I've got. We've got an old cardboard box, a piece of fabric. Her daughter loves dinosaurs. So let's have some dinosaurs on there. I've got some park maps that I've already picked up. And I have a whole load of simple stories bits and pieces here all the different say cheese collections I might even have some yeah I was going to say some echo park in there as well I've got all sorts here and this is what we're going to be using on the mini book as well I'm very very excited and I'm going to see if I can do it all in one go in one um, video so stay with me I think this is going to be a very cool mini book if you like this kind of thing, please do subscribe to my channel. I'd really, really appreciate it as my channel is full of paper crafts, journals, all that kind of thing. The beauty of the little golden books, they are created with staples and you can literally pull them to bits. Be very, very careful because you do have two very hefty staples in there so you can hurt yourself go careful obviously if you want to do it more careful and you want to preserve the little golden bit there um you could do it more careful i'm not that fast um because i'm going to be covering mine with fabric anyway but let's remove these staples you can see them in there Next thing I'm going to do is just tidy up the edges. Very important, pop the papers to one side. You're going to need those in a moment. Now we are going to create the spine. As you can see, we've got two pieces here and it depends on how thick you want your spine. You can see here, I've got two extremes. I've got one very large and I've got one quite thin. This one has two signatures, which is going to be similar to what I'm going to do for my sister. Um, I don't think she's obviously going to have the bulk of what I'm going to have as she's not a crafter. So I'm going to keep it quite simple. To create the spine, I am going to take an old cardboard box. I'm actually thinking this would be quite a nice width. Yes, let's do this. We don't want it too bulky. Let's tidy this up. Put a little bit of sticky tape on here. Let's remove that. And we want it to be the same size as the spine. So I'm going to mark it off and we are going to cut it there. And 
and that there is going to be our spine you want a tiny little gap between the two I've seen people use duct tape before I'm just going to use regular tape and stick that down like that and you can see that there is a little gap there between the two which enables it to bend nicely there we go and then we'll fold that over on that side There we have it, we already have our book cover with a spine, that didn't take very long at all. I'm going to add a little bit more tape just to reinforce it, make it nice and sturdy, we don't want it to fall to bits. I've just realised I've got a piece of fabric here, I was making some ears, adapting some Minnie Mouse ears to wear um, and this, I prepped this bit with some Wonderweb but it wasn't quite large enough but it is actually the perfect size there to go on that so I'm actually going to keep that to that size um, it's obviously too wide so we're going to trim it down and I think that will be a really good fit for there I'm just going to mark off where I would like to cut it make sure you do it a little bit larger than what you need as well because I've cut it before and it was just a little bit small if you want some cute fabric Aldi is a great place to pick up some fat quarters very reasonably priced and quite often they do sell Disney fabrics so definitely go and check them out I'm going for a frayed look on the edge I've done that with my others these are not cutting so well. I can't seem to find my favourite scissors. I had them just a little bit earlier on. That's better. So that goes nicely like that. And then we're just going to fray the edges and then stick the fabric in place. Next thing I'm going to do is pop some double-sided sticky tape down again if you wanted to include the um, golden bits you could actually you could leave them on show I'm just going to cover mine up and whoops let's have one down the middle as well and I'm also going to be adding some PVA glue as well you could use fabric glue I just haven't got any but I've heard of lots of people that do if you do have any particular glue or tape that you recommend um, please leave a comment below it would be really handy to know if there's something better to use something that you do use that you find works really well for you right, let's get some glue on here as well let's pop this on place in place obviously if you've got um, a fabric that needs to be a certain way up make sure it's the correct way and then make sure it's nice and flat and you want to make sure as well that you've got the bits to fold over the top like that and we're going to do exactly the same I'm going to add some tape across the top to stick it down in place and that folds in nicely like that that is looking really good already I'm really pleased with that want to make it a little bit prettier inside so I'm going to find some pattern paper to stick in the center there 
I've got this one here. I've got a couple of sheets of this actually, so this will be perfect. This can then sit over the top and I'll mark that off so I can cut that. Don't worry about this piece too much because a lot of this will get covered up with the signatures inside. I did notice, obviously, we've got um, a list of the little golden books there. I just so happen to have this scrap next to me, which fits perfectly. So I am going to pop this on here as I think this will be a really fun addition to the book. And what we could do is add something like a library card and put details of like the trip when it started, finished, or any special memories, that would be quite nice to add. I'm just gonna stick this one in as well. Um, I just think you save and plan so hard for these trips. I think it's really important to document the memories as well. We all take photos, don't we, of when we're out there, but what do you do with your photos? I bet there's so many people that just keep them on their phones and don't do anything with them. So let me know what you like to do with yours. Um, so I just think this is a really, really special gift. If you are a crafty person and you know someone that's done a big trip, um, I think this makes such a lovely gift. Right, I'm just sticking the paper in. It's going a little bit bumpy. I've got a couple of ridges here and I am using a craft tool, a creaser, just to get that nice and neat. Hopefully that will stick well like that. Need a bit more tape in there. I might actually pop some glue on as well. This has worked out really well. It's really nice and neat. And I'm really chuffed with that. We're now going to start working on the signatures. The signatures are the little like notelets, the pages that go inside. So on my big one, I had three. However, I'm going to be doing two on this one. Another wonderful thing about using the little golden books, you come away when you've taken the staples with two lots of pages and they're all folded so you've got three sheets inside which make it perfect to make two signatures so that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to keep this as the first one and then we're going to be adding extra pages and the maps as well let's put this first signature together I've cut some papers down and I'm going to start with two park maps so let's I'm trying to think ahead a little bit as well because it's going to be like travel day on the first one this one would be really nice like dream and smile say cheese let's fold these in half these are 12 by 12 papers so as you can see they go really really well let's cover up Mickey like that so and you want to make sure that everything matches really nicely so she might also want to include like photos of the meal when we get there, um, that kind of thing. We've got um, an evening when we arrive um, in Premier Inn. That looks quite nice. And then let's have a park map. Now I need to cut these down because they are too large so we're going to cut them down slightly I had to do this before with mine as well I want to take as little off I think the top would be the better let's see what we can get away with taken a decent amount off the top and a little bit off the bottom and that will fold out nicely so that will go in here and let's have a center page as well. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I also wanted, so I wanted two park maps, didn't I? Let's have Epcot in this one. 
I've now got my two finished signatures. I do recommend going through and just making sure that everything is up the correct way. I've done that before and ended up with something upside down. So do go through and just check that you are happy with everything, happy with the order. And I like to make sure that all the colors kind of like contrast as well. Um, yep, yeah, I'm happy with that one. And the second one, we've got a universal map in this one and a couple of extra pages for universal there. Animal Kingdom map. So now we need to work on sticking these signatures into the journal. In order to make your holes, you need to take a piece of paper that is the same width as the spine. So to get it the right size, you need to just cut it. Let's mark that off. So that's our template like this. I have got one here from my previous one. I made three signatures, but this one we're only making two. Now what we are going to do is fold it over and again like that and then take the sides and fold those over into the center as well and then you're left with three lines you can just about see those and you've got the center there as well then you want to take your clips and hold that in place and then you've got your template to make your holes. I hope that's clear and you can see those lines. So here I'm going to be having two signatures. So I'm going to mark those off and down here and up here. So we've got the six dots and I've got a binding kit. I bought it off Amazon. It's about eight or nine pounds. I'll leave the link below. It comes with the pokey hole thing. It comes with little snippers. It comes with a creaser. Um, I think it came with that one actually. Great big needles, which we will need and some lovely thick wax thread as well, which we are also going to use. Now going to go really careful with this, poke it through. Seriously, this makes your life so much easier. Just go careful when you're poking that through. And you can also see why you need the clips there to hold it in place. There we go. And then you can't really see there, but we've got our holes then prepared. And then we need to sew in the signatures. I always take about two and a half lengths of the journal. Um, and that seems to do me nicely. The needles in this binding kit are so lovely and thick. I start in the center and work up, threading it through. Um, I've done it wonky here. It was an accident, but it actually worked out really, really well. So don't fret, I will explain it in a moment. I'm also threading some cute little um, Mickey beads. I found these on eBay absolutely years ago. And then threading it through and tying it in the center. Obviously you can do it however you wish. You can add charms, buttons, all sorts. Really make them decorative. And this is when I realized that um, or this is when I was trying to make the other side purposely wonky because I loved how it turned out. It's funny, isn't it, how it, there is such a thing as a happy mistake. Um, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, no. And then um, it's just worked out really, really well. And I may actually even purposely do this in future, um, depending on how thick I want the book. But um, I will show you in a moment and you will see why it's worked out so well. But um, yes, I was very, very happy with this happy mistake in the end. I'm just um, going to add some more beads on here. Uh, these little Mickey beads just to finish them off. They look so cute, but you can add all sorts on the spine. And um, I do alter this in a moment as well, and you will see how I do that. But I'm just folding it all to make sure it's all neat and tidy, folding in the spine. And there, this looks so cool. I've got some extra beads here, which I'm also going to add. Um, the family love bright colors 
bright pinks, bright greens. So this is right up their street. And um, I just thought it would be really cute just to add on some of these little buttons. I've done that on mine as well. These little beads, they look really sweet. And then I'm ready to show you the finished spine. I'm having so much fun with this spine. So I've ended up adding some beads and I have added some extra ribbon here as well because why not? I had a little bit of this ribbon left and I've just tied it together there. I think that looks really, really cute. I'm really pleased with how this is coming along. Let's open it up and I want to start making some fun bits on the pages. Okay, so the following day, and I'm ready to fill my journal. What I've done, it started off as an accident, and I was really pleased with how it happened, and I've done exactly the same on the other one. I actually made an extra, or di I didn't follow the stitch. It was supposed to be over to one side, and I've accidentally gone over to um, the side there. It did look slightly odd, which is why I've ended up tying those, and that's hidden it. But what it has done, it's given me almost like an extra spine inside which I really really like because I've got the space as you can see um, you can see there when I close it I really really like by moving that stitch over and then folding it accordingly I really like that space that that's given me um, I've never done that before like I said it was an accident but I'm actually really really pleased with how that's happened um, I do like it. Um, right, so we're going to move inside the book today, inside the journal. I've decided, I've because I've never actually made one of these complete. It's always just been a process. I might actually trim that page down slightly. I think I might do that. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to start by adding bits and pieces. I've been cutting up the Say Cheese 12 by 12s. Um, there's some like with all the little die cut pieces whatever you call them I can't think what they're called um, I'm gonna add those I've also got some bits and pieces I've been going through all my Disney stash stickers I've got a little bag that someone's gifted me I've got note cards I've got bits and pieces that I've picked up in the parks um, so I'm gonna go through and add those I'm also wanting to add things like envelopes cello bags pockets so that they can add their own bits and pieces these are perfect for park maps so if she does pick up other things she can add those I've also got stickers I've also got chipboard I also want to add trimmings um, and just all the cute little edge stuff so we're going to go through in a, as a step by step rather than doing a page at a time I'm doing a step by step at a time the way I tend to make my own journals when I'm making a mini book or something so I figured I would do exactly the same I'm going to start with all the little bits and pieces to stick on pages to create flaps I'm going to go and trim that now I think it's just overhanging slightly but it's a very methodical way of making a journal and I find it works really really well for me that was hanging over I've just literally sliced the edge off edge off what I might even do is add a proper, a proper trimming to it that would look even nicer right let's get some bits and pieces added here so I might leave that as it is it's adding things like this ah oh, this would be cool is actually a really good way of adding flips and things like that so I'm going to do some of that I am just going to use regular tape I love washi tape but it just doesn't stick great for me and it's something that my sister's not going to think oh yeah I'm gonna stick that washi back down she's not a crafty person so it just wouldn't occur to her but what you can do is I've stuck it down like that add some double-sided sticky tape and let's find some oh I've got some red washi ta tape with stars on there we're gonna stick that over I just don't want to run the risk of sorry that wasn't on straight of um, it coming unstuck there that looks so much better doesn't it cool 
Oh. And what I might even do is take a corner punch and just do the corners there. That's a nice intro page. I'm happy with that one. I want to make sure there's plenty of space for something else that would be really fun is to create some pockets like this. I've just taken this from one of the 12 by 12 papers. Let's cut that down there. Let's make that slightly shorter. And then we're going to pop some double-sided sticky tape down on three sides and then she can pop photos inside as well. Let's pop that down. I'm really excited she's coming over today. Um, we weren't going to be seeing each other till a couple of days before we go away. There, that looks so cool. Actually, I could have might keep that in there. Oh, do you actually, do you know, I think I need a clip on there to train that down. I won't keep it on there, but it will help. Yeah, she's coming over today. It wasn't planned, um, but we've got a few bits and pieces to do. So she, they're heading over. And um, I can't wait to see her. Right, that doesn't go that well. Um, yeah, so I've decided now to get this journal done for today. an extra page here I've got a piece of 12 by 12 that I've cut and I'm going to do exactly the same as what I've done this one's obviously a larger pullout page but again it's just going to give her extra space for photos and now this folds out completely lots of room for photos all those extra bits and pieces have been added. We have loads and loads of flips. And I've also made quite a few pockets as well, as you can see. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with that. Now I'm going to go on and add like things like journaling spots, tags, that kind of thing, just um, to give them a little bit of space to write and things like that. I think that will be really fun. Just working out the best place to put things. I've also got like envelopes so I could add these as well and they will be also very handy to add bits and pieces. Something like this, this actually, that would work really well there. I like that idea. Let's pop this on here. This is quite a nice size, it's quite long, so again, leaflets and things like that will be really handy. And I think somewhere for a little bit of journaling as well. Let's make sure I put that up the right way. And then a photo could always go at the top as well. So I'm just going to go through and just have a look and see what I can add. Next step has been done. I've added, oh, let's pop that tag back in. I've added things like the cello bag. I've also added, um, where did I put it? I put um, a little plastic bag in here, on here. And then I've added bits and pieces like this. I'm now going to go around and add chipboard and stickers. I'm going to start at the front again and decide where I'm going to add what. Let's pop 
that on there. Oh, Aid's making coffee and the buzz has just gone off on the oven, so my bread must be ready. Our house smells of bread and coffee. It smells amazing. I'm just having a look to see what stickers I can add. Vacation. And I'm just going to go through the book and add them here and there. And in case you're wondering why I'm adding extra glue um, to the chipboard, it's really quite old and the stickiness has just gone from it and it's just not sticking. So um, I'm adding extra glue to make sure it stays in place. that next part has been done I've added chipboard I'm gonna keep an eye on that to make sure they stick down they have they are quite old um, the stickers are fine it's mainly the chipboard that's the problem I want to make sure that it does stay stuck down now I want to add the special touch to the mini book the journal this is what's going to make the difference and it's adding all the pom-poms so um, I did a video recently actually talking about adding all the trimmings and things like that and what a big difference it makes so just in case you didn't see that I will leave a link for you um, but that's exactly what we're going to be doing right now adding all the little bits and pieces and I can promise you it will make a huge difference I'm using green staples in my stapler because I think that looks extra cute and adds extra color and for me it's all about the color it's really important to me when I'm making anything there. And already look at that hasn't that made a difference already that is so cute Doesn't that look cute? I love that. We're going to do some down the side. Obviously, we're not going to do the bottom because you'd never be able to rest it down. So let's do some on the sides now as well. Look how cute. I'm so happy with this. Right, we need to add more trimmings though. That's still not enough. So let's move this over. I've got some of my favourite punches. Again, you would have seen these in my other video that I made. Um, and I'm just going to go through, I wanted to add one on this one here, I think that will be really nice, so actually the yellow will work better, so what I'm going to do, I am going to just trim it to size, that punch has stopped wanting to punch, so let's try another one. I'll look at that later it might just need um, need sharpening you can um, apparently punch them through like tin or like tin foil or something like that and that's supposed to help sharpen them right we've obviously got that messy edge there from when it didn't work out 
so we're going to work with that in a minute um, I'm just going to staple this on or oh, actually no let's just use double sided sticky tape I'm just going to pop this on here like that so you can see it both sides obviously it looks a little bit messy down there so I am going to add some washi tape to make it neater and that just adds a nice trim to the edge let's stick with this same one with the stars it goes really well it adds a lovely page edge as you can see that looks so nice it looks lovely on the other side but then it adds a lovely decorative edge to the actual journal as well which I absolutely love. I think that looks so nice. So I'm gonna do a few of those as well. Anything else I'm going to do, I've just got a plain edge here. I am just going to add my punch there just to make that a little bit more fun. I also wanted to add, actually I could do that here. I am going to get my Mickey punch, where is it here? And even keep that and use that somewhere else but I think I'll add a few little Mickeys in the mix as well mm, Aids just bought me coffee I've got our Epcot mugs today right next thing I'm going to do I have got a tab punch and I am going to use this to just Again, just add a little bit of interest. I want a few little bits and pieces sticking up on the top. So I'm just trying to see where it's suitable. Things like, I'm just checking both sides that that's fine. Again, I'm going to use my green staples. Let's try and get that on straight. There. And again, just so I've got something sticking out over the top to add a little bit of interest. So I'm going to do a few of those. That's still not enough trimmings. I've got some orange bird fabric left over from something I've made. Some dinosaur fabric. So let's add some more tabs. Um, and all I'm going to do, this is so easy to do. We are just going to trim off some fabric and attach it like so like that on the sides and the tops of the pages so have a look i quite fancy do it actually let's do one on the side mm, there's a cupcake on the other side there that's not going to work actually but we could do first little fabric tag added I have finished. I am so pleased with this. I'm going to give you a little look through and we're going to have a look at all the pages. One thing I've just given, um, done a flick through with my husband actually showing him. I think I might add something here so that they can write the trip details. I might do that um, before I give it to them. Um, I love the edging on that first page. I'm really pleased with that. And then obviously they can then just put their own photos and their own sort of like wording, whatever they want to add. I've added, um, my niece loves dinosaurs. She's got a real thing about dinosaurs. So I've added a little dinosaur clip on there and they can add bits and pieces that they collect on their trip. I think adding all the trimmings is what makes the difference as well. And I've obviously added the park maps, which can be pulled out. So definitely collect all your park maps and bits and pieces. These you can pick up in Epcot at all the different countries. Um, it's really fun to do that. And you can add them. I love all the fabric tabs as well. I think again, they just add a nice little bit of um, texture. I've got a pocket here for photos and bits. I can't wait for her to fill it now as well. These are stickers from the parks that someone sent to me. I thought these would be really, really cute. I've just stapled on that trimming there. That 
edge. I love how it looks on there. Actually, do you know, I might add some washi tape along. No, I'm going to leave it, actually. I or shall I? Let's add a little bit on here. Just across the edge of the staples. That's the good thing about having a flip through at the end. There. I just hope that sticks. Then on to the next signature. Got Universal Studios this side as well. Little Ziploc bag that was sent to me. Another little pocket and a little dinosaur clip. Little um, cello bag so you can put things in there. Animal Kingdom map. I am so happy with this. I can't wait to give it to them. I hope they'll be really, really pleased with it. I've made sure that there's quite blank spaces as well for any like SeaWorld or Universal water park pictures as well. I didn't want to all completely have it smothered in Disney. I wanted some plainer pages as well. There, and I wanted to pop something in there actually because that's a pocket. And there, they can know it's a pocket then. That is the journal. I really hope you've enjoyed this. It makes such a lovely gift and it makes it exciting because I know how much they'll appreciate this and especially when she's not crafty but she really, really appreciates it. I know it's a really, really lovely gift for them. But thank you for watching today. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's inspired you to create something or make a lovely gift for somebody as well. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.